What is up, Overkillers? And yesterday I put out a video, a news video about the new SimBrief integration directly into Microsoft Flight Simulator from Navigraph. And today we're going to check it out. I'm going to show you guys how to install it, where to get it, and then we're going to test it out because it is, it's a game changer, dude. It is a game changer. Stick around. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. All right, guys, so as I said, Yesterday, we did a news video about the SimBrief integration now. So it's a SimBrief uh, dispatch is what they're calling it. And Navigraph has integrated everything that you can do in SimBrief directly into the simulator. And this is a big game changer. It makes things significantly easier. It requires less windows, no more going to websites or using the applications. Now you have everything that you need to create your flight plan directly from the toolbar or uh, yeah, from the world map. So you guys have all seen this before. This is just the SimBrief website, right, where you create your flight plan. So now you're going to go to Software Downloads, and you're looking for SimBrief Dispatch for MSFS. Download that. Okay, and then uh, once you get the download, we'll move to the next step. All right, so now that we have it downloaded, here's the download. You're going to unzip it, extract it. You're going to see this folder here. Notice that it's two, two levels deep, so this is what gets extracted. This is the folder. These are the contents. So you want to go back to one folder. This is how you do any add-on with the community folder. For those of you who may not know, any add-on that you get that you want to put into your community folder, it should be the folder name or the file name. And then directly after that, you should see a big giveaway is that you'll see the folder called content info. Pretty much every add-on that I can think of has this folder. It says content info. So you're going to grab this one and you're going to simply copy it to your community folder. Okay, now mine's in a different directory. You can use um, add-ons linker or anything like that if you want to do the same thing. That's a whole different process. But, and then you're gonna simply paste it in and you guys should see something that looks like that inside of your community folder. So Microsoft Flight Simulator Community, there it is. All right, and once we have that, we're ready to get back in the simulator. All right, so jumping back into the sim, guys, this is my first time using this as well, so I'm pretty excited about this. My volume is super loud. Not sure why. There we go. So we're going to go to sim brief, and let's just start walking through the process here. So you can click on that directly. Just clicked on the link. It opens up your Navigraph login. You tell it to approve it tells you the account has been linked and bam there it is and if you need to you can show everything so let's jump on this so quick links you can see my last one so let's go to a new flight and this is so much faster and there's everything that we would normally use so uh, we'll simulate one real quick with the a380 so uh, we'll do, what is it? British BAW, I think is what it is. British Airways, is that right? Um, and I don't know, uh, 380. And we'll fly it from, um, I don't know. I'm just going to make something up here, guys. Uh, from Phoenix to JFK. Okay. And then... Aircraft type, let's find the A380. 38800. This is also another very important piece. Change your profile to the fly-by-wire. Then here's where we could change anything if we need to. I'm not going to worry about changing any of that. There's our flight route, all the same information. We can save the flight if we want. Not going to worry about that. We can share the flight if you want to send it to someone or copy the link out. Uh, and then, of course, generate flight. Of 
Make sure today you guys all go out and vote. If you haven't, be kind to each other. It is okay to have a difference of opinion. But make sure you vote. Make sure your voice is heard. And so now we can do a couple of things. You can import it directly to the sim, which will load your flight plan and everything directly into the FMS. I don't like doing that. And that is purely because one of the things that I enjoy doing, believe it or not, as monotonous and crazy as it sounds, is I like programming the aircraft. I, I like putting everything in. I very, very rarely use any kind of sim brief integration or flight plan integration. I know it's more realistic. It really is. Um, I know that they use uh, direct links to put in their routes and things like that, and all that stuff gets uploaded. I totally get that. For me, it's just fun. I, I, I like doing it. So anyway, um, I got to check this one out. I'll be damned. To open this link, your default browser must be launched. Launch it, and it launches the browser. Sick. So if you want to use the PDF, you still can. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, it just launched Google or Chrome. All right, and then there was something else I wanted to do. What's IFPS validate? I don't know what that is. Flight plans can be validated with Euro control using the public and OP operations network. Blah, blah, blah. For your convenience, the following flight plan can be copied. All right, there you go. Um, and now let's go to like our performance page. Dude, this is sick. All right, coming out of Phoenix 07 left. Tora feet length. I'm not worried about that. What's the length? Oh, feet. It's just giving you weights. Okay, measurements. Auto. Da da da. Flex. Assume temperature enabled. Calculate. And there's all of your performance information that you would enter in, for example, to the uh, FMS or the MCDU on the A380. Um, now, this is, I'm kind of curious because this is something that we would enter later on. So. Um, I, I don't know if everything gets imported over if it I doubt it would do that, but you can even copy that I'm gonna open up a notepad real quick Sick So display capture there it is Hit the copy button, you can copy it out, paste it onto something if you want. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that really is pretty cool. Uh, we don't need to save that. Let me actually delete that now. I hate having random crap on my desktop. So let's close that. That is awesome. Weather and no tams. Everything that we had before is now directly into the sim. There's that performance calculator again. Why is my phone ringing? That is sick, dude. That is too sick. Oh, man. Okay. So let's go back to view the flight plan, and we'll go ahead and import it. And so we can do import into sim. Please do not interact with the simulator. I am not interacting with the simulator. Done. Import has finished. All right. So now, where do we say we're coming out of Phoenix, right? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now, wait a minute. Now, how do I get back to... <gasps> you even have a... No... Oh, okay. There's your damn charts, dude. All right, so there's the high IFR charts. What else does it have? Just low IFR, VFR. Okay, so the same thing that we've seen before. So it's just the world map, essentially, with the charts. Pretty slick, though. Can you actually see your charts, though, is what I'm wondering. Those are all the filters. There's the route. Look at that. 
There's the MEDAR information right there. Okay. All right. Anyway, so let's see here. What else did I want to look at? Um, there was something else. No, I forgot. Oh, how do we fly it now? That's the next step. Do I just... See what, is it going to put us on the runway or is it going to put me at a gate? Because that's the only thing that's kind of tripping me out here. Home? No, nope, that just takes me back there. Go back? Nope, takes me out. Should I have selected my gate first? How do I get out of this if I want to get out of that? That is still something that's kind of weird. Um, F12 would reset everything. All right, I'm going to hit fly. See what happens. I'm worried that's going to air start the aircraft. I don't want to air start the aircraft. Okay, so it did. It it hot started us, and I have the throttle set at maximum. Uh, no. I won't worry about that right now. All right, but let's see if I remember any of my camera views now. I'm all over the place. Did I not? I was going to say. I know I made one. All right, so let's look at the flight plan. Okay, so that did not import anything into the FMS for this particular aircraft. It's good to know. Although everything's still turning on, so it kind of makes me wonder. Hmm, everything's on. But let's look down here on the fly pad, for example. Import sim brief data. Makes sense, actually. So it just means that we have to do everything from here. So there's the OFP. I still love this. Love it. Anyway, let's come back over here. Let's go to initialization. Company request. <clears throat> oh! I knew about the world map. Somehow I didn't realize it was a toolbar too. Oh my goodness gracious. Dude. So now when you're doing your multiple flights, never have to leave the simulator. Create your new flight plan, load it up, refuel, reload, off you go. Sick. <laughs> that is too freaking cool. Uh, received. Insert. There it is. Freaking sick, man. Love it. Performance. I wonder how you get the company takeoff request. Oh, well, we'll have to look at all that. I'll look at all that later, but dude. Flight plan. Anyway, you guys know how to do this part. Uh, this is too freaking cool. This is awesome. And then what I really like about this is what this just did is you get everything in one now. So you have your, actually I think I need to, yeah. So like this can now be removed, okay? 
Um, any of your OFPs can now be removed. So now we can simply go to view the flight plan. Um, you can either view the PDF or hold on. There's our route right there. All right, my friends, while well, I was getting a little too juicy in there and just rambling on, so I decided to cut the video there. But um, as always, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and find this tool just as useful as I did. Um, Navigraph has done an amazing job with this, and you can bet your money you'll see this in 2024. It will be a uh, very critical tool and a very critical integration, and it's going to make things so much easier. It's, it's a far less step. So uh, once again, in Navigraph, congratulations on a fantastic release. And as always, guys, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.